hope this time everything goes freaking perfectly smoothly, buttery smooth, because I really don't want to record this for a fourth time. Oh. Alright, welcome back to the legendary story of the Dragonborn Sika. Hi, my name is Rex Hater, and I'm currently doing currently doing a playthrough on the game, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. This is my character Sika, so I'm currently doing the Dongard quest line. We're currently at Darkfall Cave, and I'm about to go in there and retrieve this bowl, go back to Harkin, and see what happens after that. So I'm pretty sure you heard, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I left in a little, little clip of me saying I don't want to do this for the third time or something. But yes, literally, I have recorded this video two times already. The first time was a perfect video. You know, nothing was really wrong. The only thing that was wrong is, like, my microphone volume was turned up too loud. So it kind of sounded like I was, like, talking extra loud. It's kind of like my mic was being maxed out, but I wasn't screaming, you know? And then the second time... My mic did was record perfectly, but the game didn't record the game audio. So, hmm, we're back here for the third time. Now I just gotta ask myself, do I want to sit through all that dialogue again for the third time? And like I always say, I didn't play this game thousands of times. <laughs> I didn't heard these lines thousands of times, and now I have to listen to them again. I literally, literally heard these lines two times today. This should just be great. Who's there? We're doing the underwater glitch thing. I don't know how I not get hit by that. I don't know why my game does this all the time. There's still of them over here. What the hell? Uh now he falls. So this video originally was supposed to be like a day late and then Oh my god, let me kill this one. I'm pretty sure this video is like forward. I don't even know how late this video is going to be because I still have to edit, render, and upload this video, which rendering takes around like two hours. I'm recording this now in 4K, so I'm pretty sure rendering is going to even be even longer. Then I have to upload, which is going to be even longer. <laughs> so that should be great. I'm pretty sure this video won't be up till freaking two days from now. Hopefully, I can get it up today, though, because right now it's like currently 1.32 a.m. I'm recording this before I go to work. These why would anyone want to set up camp here? I wonder what happened to them. <sighs> here I got to go explaining what happened to these people. Pretty much, I don't know how many people came here, but two sisters came. They tried to put tor they put torches throughout this whole cave to try to make friends with trolls. Trolls wasn't friendly, killed them, and uh, yeah, that's how the story goes. Or I don't know if the other sister died because the one sister, after they put the torches, one sister left and why the other one stayed and tried to be friends. I think it was a couple people who stayed. But... By the time the other sister came back, the other one was already dead, left a note. So, if you go up here, you can see the two trolls they try to make friends with. Where you see the other trolls over there. Hey, these just here, Serana. You will not touch me. Neither will you. <sighs> I love doing the same quest two times in one day. So fun. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Only thing I'm fearing right now is that something goes wrong with me recording this this time and I have to record it for a fourth time. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the great Chantry of Oriel. Here come all this long dialogue again. Uh, this cave is the Temple of Oreo. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. Snow Elves? You're a farmer? I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. 
Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the betrayed. I imagine you know why I'm why we're here. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance. What type of assistance do you I need? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Kill your brother? Why? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. What exactly did the betrayed do? They swept into the Chantry without warning and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. You don't even know if he's alive. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel, and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Way Shrine? Yes. Let me show you. You can still kind of hear like we're underwater even though we're not underwater. Oh, what the hell? This is so much magic. Incredible. This structure is really rich. They were used for meditation and for transport. When the I guess I'm the one who's supposed to stand all the way in the water. The relics of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the Way Shrine center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, He'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the arch curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Mario's bow. I know how it all sounds. That's why Saran is my favorite way, follower in default game. Done it long ago. For that one line in dialogue. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the initiate's footsteps and traveling from way shrine to way shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. How many way shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. These caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. So I need to fill this at each Way Shrine? Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. This is the part where, in the last two times I recorded this, I actually did ask him these three questions. I expected as much. I don't know if I should. Oh, I guess I have to re-ask them. Who are the spectral pyrolites you mentioned? They're ghosts of the snow elf priests that tended the way shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed through the grace of Oriel. They were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Good, they should be able to help us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. What is the Chantry of Oreo? This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Most Noels? Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebane, Yefray, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its Way Shrines. The Way Shrines are part of the Chantry then? Chantry? Oh yes. 
They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct Freaking these microphone is like long before I in the wrong spot. The we were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. It appears the Nords won. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves. And when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Everyone couldn't have possibly agreed to that. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves bargain. What turned your people into the betrayed? I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin, certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Is that why you had to retain we your sight? We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean the betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. There are others like here like you? Werther and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. May Auriel keep you free from harm. Alright, let's hurry up. See if I can speed run this. I'm gonna actually do this as a vampire lord. Tough day for you. Okay, why does sometimes my spell doesn't shoot? Hey, we got another perk point. Uh, should we just max out this right side? Target is paralyzed. That seems like it can be really useful. It's actually okay. Where'd he go? Huh? There you go. The first two times I did this, I did it as just regular Sika. I wasn't a vampire lord, but this time I'm just like, mmm. Okay, did I just do a 360 and just, what the heck? How did I do that? I didn't mean to do that, but I mean, it was cool. Nevertheless. Okay, Sika and the Vampire Lord is straight OP. When Harkin literally said few enemies will be able to withstand you, like he was not capping. Cause trust me, I tried to do this as like regular Sika, and she was getting like, I can't say I was dying a lot, but I had a struggle getting through this whole cave. This is like the fakest door, but I don't know where the switch is at to move it, so.
Like the first time I went in straight weapon swinging guns blazing sword shield smacking Well, I didn't have a sword but just sword straight swinging everywhere Second time I try to uh, take it a little stealthy I try to you know crouch sneaky assassin bow and arrow from archer from distance and You know that took longer than the first time of course and then the third time I was just like you know what well you're watching the third time Whoa, you hit pretty hard. Okay, what is going on here? How are these not dead yet? Toronto must really have like low magic and like reserves. So it's like she goes into Vampire Lord and like instantly runs out of magic and she's standing there. Oh, I'm so sorry. We're going up so many levels so quick. Detect all creatures, I guess. What do this do? Hello? I just seen it. It just said activate. Activate, activate. Harvest. No, it's not important. Now we get the powers of detect all creatures. I didn't think that was set off a freaking trap. He lived through that? How? Go this way, go up here, around here. I mean, you could go down there and take the path, but I learned this away a long time ago. You can literally just run on the side. Don't even need to be a vampire lord to do run this direction. Just follow the side of the edge. I don't know if Bethesda made this map to specifically do this, but you end up just dropping down right here. And boom. I don't want to be a vampire lord right in front of this dude because then he's going to be mad. Although the first time I recorded this and the second time I played just like this, how secret is right now. And it both times took like 40, 50 minutes. But the time I take a vampire lord is under 20. Or literally under, what, what 25 minutes? That's insane. Welcome, Initiate. This is the Way Shrine of Illumination. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? And fill your vessel with his enlightenment? Yes, I am. Then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek tranquility within the inner sanctum. 
like even with like all the dialogue this is still like half the time episode two or the second time and first time i recorded this this is insane i'm literally going to run it on as a vampire lord more often I wanted the vampire lord to be something like I used at my last resort. Like right before Sika dies, you know, she just vampire lords and then she just ah, goes insane. But uh, I can never get to that point because the zebra, as soon as I get low, I get one shot at dead or I end up killing him. So it doesn't matter. Air vampire blood boils in the sunlight. Are we outside? What the hell? Whoa. This is literally ending way faster. I can literally probably edit this, have it rendering while I'm at work, come back and then upload it from then. I doubt it render in time though, before I freaking leave. That's like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes. Whoa. Serana, are you seeing this? I'll try and make this quick. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> Those was never here before. But this is where this video ends. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the long wait of this uploaded video. It's so sorry I did not plan on this video the first time to mess up and the second time to mess up. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Next video should be coming out real. I'm probably going to record once I get home. So, see you guys in the next one. This video is over. Cut. <laughs>